This segment is sponsored by iCairo Clinics. If you're just trying to get through each day without injuring your back or your neck because you know the kind of pain that can cause, you should also know that many injuries are caused by lack of range of motion. Dr. Michael Quast is here from iCairo Clinics to talk about that, why it's a risk, and how to fix it. Hi, good to see you, Dr. Quast. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell me what you mean when you say that so many injuries are caused by a lack of range of motion. Yeah, so most people don't think about this, but remember when you were in seventh grade and you went to gym class and they said, you know, bend down, touch your toes and do all these stretches. And, and why were we doing that? We were doing that so that we didn't get injured. We didn't pull muscles because flexibility is less likely to have an injury than inflexibility, mm -hmm. right? Whatever the part is of your body, you know, shoulder, knee, hip, back, neck, whatever. So the problem is most people, number one, we don't stretch enough and we don't even look at it. But when you see people that get hurt from little nothings, bending down to tie their shoe, picking up the shovel, uh, I just had a guy come in, he had a little scooper full of salt, oh, wow. a little like Little, a little scooper, not a big scooper, a, and hurt his shoulder. I'm like, that. there's no way that that hurt your shoulder from the little scooper. Your shoulder was already messed up. You uh, just didn't hurt yet. You had bad range of motion. So then when he did a little movement, bam, now he's hurt. So if does, we would, does the lack of range of motion come from non-use or can there be, well, it sounds like maybe there can be underlying injury that also causes it. Yeah, both. So yeah. most, most people will have underlying minor injuries, right? So they'll have a car accident 10 years ago, but they didn't get hurt, but they lost range of motion, but because very few clinics even test range of motion, uh, they didn't know it didn't hurt. So who cares? Right. <laughs> and then that range of motion inability now, every time they do some little thing, they're getting hurt, minor hurt, take Tylenol, Advil, ibuprofen. Oh, I'm fine now, right? Because it does calm down, but the motion's not fixed. Mm. So then every time they do that, they get this flare up and then it becomes chronic and it happens over and over. And what people don't realize is number one, you can get addicted to drugs that way. That's how the whole opioid crisis happened. Yeah. Um, but Number two is when you have that compression from the muscle squeezing everything together, it's going to wear the cartilage in those joints out, which is called arthritis and degeneration. And there's not a lot of things you can do once that's bad. So it's better to prevent it. And range of motion is the first thing to look at. So we have all these tests we do with ranges of motion to see like how far you can turn your head. And if you can touch your heel to your butt while you're standing up and hip range of motion and shoulder range of motion and some of the things we've done on the show before yes. uh, but these these motions are critical uh you need to know where you're at and if you don't have the motion higher chance of injury doing any stupid thing <laughs> and then more likely you're going to have arthritis and generation in those joints and like who would ever pick to have those things right. happen to them right it's just people don't know. And so, so that's why I'm here trying to teach people. Yeah. How do you restore range of motion then? What do you do to put people through their paces and get them back to where they need to be? Yeah. So, I mean, we use a whole slew of different therapies. So not only we do, do we do chiropractic adjustments, either manually or with the computer, that causes the muscles to relax and then you restore the range of motion. We also use massage therapy but you can't just get a massage. Like I can't just lay on the table and get a massage. The therapist has to know where my range of motion restriction is so that their massage is to fix that. I'm mm. not talking about taking a nap and getting hot rocks thrown on your back and smelling <laughs> incense, right? right? That's not gonna make your range of motion just change. Same thing even with chiropractic. If we don't know you have a range of motion deficiency, we can adjust you all over the place. But if it's not in the area where the range of motion restriction is, it's not going to magically fix that. All right. Well, let folks know uh, if you want to learn more about iChiro Clinics or make an appointment so you can get there and get your problems tackled, visit their website. We put a link to it on ours, 13onyourside.com. Thanks, Dr. Quast. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.